Hi everyone, and this is the first Geon FX tutorial. Today we're gonna make a fallen asteroid effect. Repeat after me step by step and you'll learn how to create basic particle effects. Let's go! First of all, let's change background for the one we'll use in the game. You can move background by moving mouse while holding Ctrl or Command key on Mac and left mouse button. Things that create particle effects are called emitters. Move all emitters by moving mouse while holding right mouse button. Or move emitters one by one by dragging and dropping them with left mouse button. You can show hide emitter shapes in the upper left corner menu. This white circle is an attachment point for all of your emitters. Let's load an asteroid sprite. I did an asteroid image or strip in Photoshop. It has 9 frames, so we'll enter 9 in the input form. Let's look how it works. Nice! Next move, we adapt the animation speed to a particle life. We set white color, which means no blending. We don't want this particular image to be color blended. Turn the relative switch on to make particle sprite face the direction of movement. Now let's change the direction. We want this asteroid to fall down faster and disappear faster. Let's set lifetime values. We want it to become bigger and bigger while falling. Let's set, make it smaller first by changing size value. Then we'll set size increment. It'll make it bigger while playing. Now that's too much. Now it's okay. Let's fade it in from alpha. First we set alpha value to 0. Set gravity to make it fall more realistically. Rename effect 1 to something more relevant, let's say asteroid. Let's add new effect. We can see it now, this green square. Rename it to asteroid tail. This time we use build and shape for the effect. Let it be gray. Let's make it fade in and fade out by setting alpha values. Make it go up. Change lifetime values. Tail of smoke should be created while asteroid is falling. Let's attach this effect to the asteroid effect. We want this tail to be created 
on a slight distance from the asteroid. That is why we change asteroid's sprite region. Let's come back to editing the asteroid effect. Let's make it smaller on a distance and change meter size. Press middle mouse button to start resizing. Move mouse and left click when ready. Let's change particle direction angles for our smoke to make it look more natural. Let's reduce the number of created small particles. Ok, now we change the size variations for small particles. We want our asteroid to be destroyed faster. Let's change its lifetime again. Now we see where our asteroid disappears. But we want it to break into pieces. Let's create a new effect. Rename it. Let's load an image, rocks. I did 4 frames in one strip, that is why I entered number 4. Turn animate switch off and random switch on to choose only one random frame out of 4 when this particle is created. Change the color of our particle. Set direction range. We want our rocks or asteroid fragments to go up first and then down. Gravity will do the trick. Let's make them smaller. We want images to rotate while asteroids are flying in a certain direction. Just the region of the sprite, put it in the center. Change the speed of our fragments. Ok, now we're ready to attach our fragments to the asteroid. Switch the asteroid tab and make it create another effect on DAS. Set the count. Test. Let's go back to our rocks. Make them fade out at the end. Change their lifetime. Ok, let's see how it looks. Disable drawing emitter shapes to see how our final effects look without any destruction. Nice! We did the fallen asteroid effect. Now let's export it to GML. Geon FX will open it in your system's default text editor. Now you can save it wherever you want. Save your project by pressing Ctrl and S V. 
Windows or Command and S Mac. Don't forget that you can undo or redo your actions with Ctrl plus Z or Ctrl plus Y on Windows or Command plus Z and Command plus Y on Mac. Thank you for watching this video. Like and subscribe if you want more tutorials on Geon FX.